Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what I'm talking about is tarpon fishing with live bait. Uh, tarpon eat just about everything, but um, you know, they have some that they really like to eat and there's different ways to hook the uh, live bait and there's also different ways to um, I guess present it by using bobbers or free lining it or whatever you're planning on doing you know if you're trolling slow trolling you can do that too uh, just different ways to hook them so let me just cover cover what I'm talking about all right so if you got a mullet and if you're gonna slow troll them you want to hook them in the nose it's a more natural presentation there that's just uh, the better way to do it if you're doing that it's it's much more natural if you want them just to swim on top like this and not be able to go anywhere if you want to get some of those amazing top water strikes you hook them in the back. So if you hook them in the back, they're going to stay on top much better than if you hook them in the front because eventually they're going to get tired and get, get, you know, kind of go down. So that's a more natural presentation. That's just a wounded thing that can't go anywhere on the top is the way to do it with a mullet like that. I use a bobber a lot. Uh, I very rarely, unless I'm slow trolling behind my kayak, uh, a mullet, do I not use a bobber. I have noticed that they just are able to catch the mullet better. So, you know, it's one of those things that's always amazed me is how these predatory fish miss so often. You know, it's your job to eat these things. You're a predator and they just miss and miss and miss. You know, snook and tarpon especially. They got these big huge mouths and they still miss it. It's amazing to me. So, I, I tie a bobber to them now. Not for any reason except to slow down the mullet, to make it harder for that mullet. It's already got a hook through it somewhere, and then a bobber slowing its movements down too. Just makes for a better hookup ratio, i found. So I use a bobber. Uh, when I'm fishing for tarpon, it's almost always four or five feet of leader. It just depends upon the size of the tarpon. If you're going for some of those big tarpon that are in the deep channels, or at the inlet mouths, or wherever you have big tarpon, um, you know, I would suggest using five, even six feet a liter um, when you're fishing for them. But I'm usually fishing smaller tarpons, four feet and under. You know, I'm catching them in backwater mangroves and on the, on the mud flats and grass flats where I am in a kayak. So I'm usually doing smaller ones, so I use about a four foot liter. But the, here's a different fish. So a pinfish is a very different creature than a mullet. A pinfish will always just try to head straight down. So I definitely use bobbers every time when I'm fishing with a pinfish because if not, it's just going to go straight down in the grass and hide. So it's going to be too hard for the uh, tarpon to, to find it. So what you do is you figure out, say you're fishing for tarpon and let's say it's five feet of water. Well, you want to make sure that you have less than five feet of water so, of leaders so your, your pinfish can't go down and hide in the grass. That's all I'm saying. So, you know, you can't fish these pinfish where they can get to the bottom because that's exactly what they're going to do. Every time without exception. Um, tarpon love shrimp. Shrimp is an excellent bait for tarpon. People think of shrimp and they think redfish, they think trout and things like that, but tarpon will eat the heck out of shrimp. Basically everything eats shrimp. It would be horrible, horrible to be a shrimp. Everything wants to eat you. But all you're doing, that's not his eye, that's his brain, that dark spot there. So I usually hook him in the horn, you know, just under the horn. Just make sure you miss the dark spot, because if you hit the dark spot, you hit their brain. Instead of a live shrimp, you now have a dead shrimp, which works too. But live shrimp's better, of course. So that's another one, and I usually fish those with a uh, bobber, unless. Uh, unless there's tons of tarpon around and you can sight cast to them because that's a fun way to catch tarpon with a, with a shrimp is seeing them gulp and you see where the bubbles are heading and you just pitch it like three or four feet in front of them a lot of times you'll catch them with a shrimp. Crabs are the same deal. All you're doing with a crab, I mean normally you, you bust off the claws but it, you know, it kind of looked like a slug when I was drawing it and I even gave it a deformed claw for some reason on this side but anyways you just uh, you're just going to hook took them in the carapace right here on the side pitch it out there especially when you see them gulping you see which way they're headed 
and you pitch that out in front of them, it's a great way to sight fish for uh, tarpon. So these are the main live baits. You know, there's all kinds of different things. The little white baits work just fine. Uh, you know, when you have all the menhaden and the, the sardines and the herring and all these different things that come running through. Um, you know, and you pick. With those white baits, I very rarely hook them in the back. I almost always hook them in the nose. Uh, they're just not as hardy of a fish as a, uh, as a mullet is or a uh, pinfish. So I usually hook them right in the nose and I usually use a bobber with those when I'm fishing for tarpon with white baits. But that's it, it's just something I wanted to cover. You know, I get these questions all the time about what's best bait for this, that, and how do you rig them? So that's really what we're doing here today. But uh, that's it for today. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right, bye-bye.